have traveled to Ashkelon, the coastal city just south of Tel Aviv that nudges up against the Gaza Strip. What you we're seeing here right now is the launcher. Each launcher has 20 missiles on it. You can see uh, the red light flashing, which means it's armed and ready. Here, one of the dozen or so Iron Dome batteries sits at the ready to intercept missiles and provide Israel with a type of shield from aerial attacks. I'm the Iron Dome commander. Lieutenant Colonel Leron Cohen oversees its operation. Is this as close as we get, or do we get... Uh... Uh, this is as close as we get. It took just three years and about $200 million to develop this defense system. It relies on a radar that instantly detects when a missile has been fired. Algorithms quickly try to determine what type of projectile is in the air and whether it's heading for a populated or strategic area. If so, Iron Dome launches a missile of its own. It's said that Iron Dome has taken down more than 1,000 missiles since it turned on in 2011, with a 90% success rate. Some people question the accuracy of these figures. What's clear, though, is that the algorithms capable of directing projectiles while performing a cost-benefit analysis on human life are among the most advanced in the world. This network of launchers is highly mobile and constantly on the move. This site, like many, is temporary. Everything you see here can be moved out in a matter of hours. And we move around a lot to make sure nobody knows where we are all the time. Unless you live here, it's difficult to imagine just how much this technology has transformed the lives of ordinary Israelis. Uh, I can tell you from my own personal experience, sitting in my own house and seeing rockets fired towards my house and operating this incredible system and succeeding. With the Iron Dome, when you see your house that you're protecting, and your family, and your friends, and your soldiers, uh, it's a sense of great uh, uh, sense of pride. For many Palestinians, Iron Dome means something else. It's just the most visible part of an expansive Israeli security apparatus that includes drones, checkpoints, and espionage technology. Those tools have been put to immediate use in the West Bank, Gaza, and throughout Israel. Terrorist bombings have declined. Missiles have met their match. But lower tech forms of protest, like stabbings, are now on the rise.